What's up guys, so I'm sure you've heard this song. That thing, and the... All that stuff. Here I'm going to teach you how to do that. Okay, so if you want to start with the song, first off understand that this is a simplified version in a way. Um, for example, when the song picks up, you hear the... All that stuff. The left hand's technically not right. If you hear it, um, it's technically playing something along the lines of this. All that stuff and that's just a lot of jumping around so I take this chord that's played and just just double the chord so I have these chords I go boom. okay which if you look at it it's B flat major and then I go to this okay B flat major again so it's just going just different different inversions and then similar to the beginning it's not a B flat major it's slightly different And then you just go back to where you were. Those last two notes, same one, same chords that we just did, except that middle port, we do these. Okay, you start off, boom, boom, boom. And then those ending two chords. That's a sequence, and then this is a sequence. That's it. That's the main thing that I did for the left hand to keep it easy and make it so you're not moving a lot. Because the original song, if it is played with an organ by one person, uh, ignoring all the percussion that's in the music, uh, they're likely to be playing the the bass walk. It's a beautiful bass walk, but they're likely to be playing it with their foot. Um, if I had to guess, but either way, I didn't want to have to do this like all the time because that's just too much eh. and especially with my pinky like you can do ragtime but you usually are jumping chords you're not doing pinky and then continuing maybe that's just my poor uh rendition but i think this is easier and it still sounds pretty good because you go So with that left hand, you go just these chords. Oh, I didn't tell you. Just an F minor. Sorry, didn't tell you that. Okay. So you do B flat major, E flat major, B flat major again, and then back to that E flat major. Okay, and the slight variation is instead of starting with the B flat major, you go F minor, E flat major, so B flat major, and then that. Okay, it's in E flat major. The song is. I know that's not correct fingering. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just played it that way on accident. So here you go. You just do those chords and go. Bum. Just play them twice. That's what you're gonna do for the first few parts of the thing. Okay, so the melody is pretty simple. Um, it's pretty easy to pick out. There's just um, it might differ a little bit from if you've tried to play this before.
because there are small things like um some people might not hear that little that's what the music does for my ears um but i'm jumping ahead let's go from the beginning shall we so with the melody the right hand is going to do the melody we all know Okay, and in the intro portion only, the left hand will be doing a C minor. And here's the only jumping that I have in here is a G major. Right? You just hit that low, that G, right below middle C, and then jump up to a G major up here. And the way I made it, I made it a second inversion, but you don't have to, obviously. It just sounds more accurate to what I'm hearing. So, you go... Okay? So your left hand will do this. Okay? There is one variation, and I'll get to it when we play it together. Here, slowly. That way you have your first inversion G, still G major. And then you restart it. Finish it off, and still go up that time. And here's where the melody overlays the, the one that we just played, because this is still going on. But then you hear the bum ba da dun dun That's the fingering I like to use. If you find one that's better and makes more sense, go ahead and use it. But I think, because eventually we will be going up to this A flat, so I like to start on the ring finger here. I like to cross over there, and then go 4, 2, 3, 1, 1. Then continue and go up. Okay. And the left hand is just doing the same pattern from the beginning. Sure you go up there. Continue. Go low up there. Okay, there you go. That don't freak out about that. All you have to do is practice it slowly and it will get faster, okay? Okay. I used to do it, but if you know chromatic scales, you're supposed to do three on the black generally and the thumb on the white generally. The only thing that screw you up is when they have, you know these notes. There's the E and the F and the B and the C. You have the three one three one three one two. You would normally go up here, but the thing sounds like it goes straight to that, so um, that's what you do. Three one three one three one two three, and your hands already in position now, and you can just go, and then back to the D. Okay, so after you do the.
Okay, so just practice that slow where you do the um, from here. So, if you notice, that's where the left hand picks up to what we learned initially. The B, ma D, the B flat major twice, E flat major twice, B flat major twice again, and then back to E flat major twice. Then the F minor, E flat major, and the B flat major again, and E flat major set to end it, because that's your one. Okay, and while we're doing this, Let's try to put that together, okay? We have the beginning, and we have it where we go to... Right? So you might want to practice just that transition. So you might want to practice from here and go... That's it. That'll help you because that's a fairly difficult transition when you're first starting out. Okay, so from once you get that, you're ready to continue. We already have the left hand internalized fairly well. F minor, E flat major, E flat major, and back to E flat major. Okay, so let's put the let's put the melody in. Okay, after you do that little slide up. Okay. One, and let's go back to the three. Switch. So get that into your fingers, and then we can try that together. Okay, so from that, after you do the do, 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 you can go over and it repeats um, into a new section. Sorry, it doesn't repeat. It goes into a new section. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Just touch the F. It's not a loud one, but it's there. Do, do, do. Just three. Bum, bum, bum. Do, do, do. Touch. Slide down. Then you do four. One, two, three, four. Touch. Okay, that's a lot. But if you notice, the only thing different between those sections was one started off with a lead-in of and the other one started with a lead-in of just one extra note. Okay, so you have to da -da 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 touch. Then four. Four. 
And you already know the left hand for this. It's the same thing. Okay? So you have the... Make sure you, on that four, you, you start back over with the B-flat major. And you do end with a boom, 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 because next comes the doom, doom, the big drums things. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to play the, the song. Anyways. So get that into your get that into your system. Sorry if that was a little fast, but really the only thing that changes is the melody. So you just got to get that coordination in there. So no matter how slow I do it, it's really up to you. I can play along with you slower. Let's go from the the little chromatic scale. From here, it's still the same chords. You know, we started with the B flat major. This is the part where it goes, dun, 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 right? That's the B flat major. Just take that fifth, make it a root position chord. One, three, five. If you understand chords, one, two, three, four, five of that chord. Okay, sorry that's confusing if you don't play piano normally, but. Um, I, it's still a simplified version, because, yeah, the bass is still doing... Or, sorry. I don't have that walk on the bass. It sounds so cool, but... Again, I didn't want to jump around like crazy. So, I have it simplified, but it still is in harmony, so it sounds fine. The only reason I changed it to here is because it's a different section... It just needs to sound a little separate from the beginning where we go bum, 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 you know so left hand still be B flat major to an E flat major the only thing that changes is the first chord just change the inversion and you'll start this is middle C obviously and you just go bum, F minor. E flat major. Start again. It repeats. Then back to the B flat major. It's very familiar. The only difference is you're jumping around a little bit more. F minor. E flat major. And B flat major. And back home. Meanwhile, your right hand. Let's do the melody. It might feel... Okay, it might feel like it makes more sense to do dun, 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 with you, these two fingers, but... I think you should just um, practice this coordination. Maybe practice with the metronome. So that you can play these notes with your ring finger and your pinky, the four and the five. Because after this, it goes down. Um, and you want to be able to do that. E flat major if you care. Um, and you can't 
you can't do a normal fingering um, because that would be your alternative if you wanted to do that or you're jumping back but it's easier just to keep your fingers not move and not jump around too much so let's just get started with it pay attention to the right hand please I might play left hand just That's the almost the ending melody. <laughs> so you do that twice, all right? I had some pauses because I wanted to make sure I didn't mess up. Um, but those are the notes. Then back. Okay, make sure it's... Because uh, the other one ended up... Right? And this one would still sound fine, but it's just not what's played in the real song. Okay, so you do that twice. And together, let's do it slowly. Um, so we just got done... So that last part, your left hand is going to do what the bass has been doing the entire time, though. Because the bass does this. It's that last part. The whatever. Except now, we can do it because we're not doing a melody with it. And it's very prevalent. It's much more noticeable. So we're going to go ahead with it. So your left hand, uh, just kind of have it in your thumb on this F and your pinky on the A flat. That's the breadth of the range in this portion. So you can just go. This B flat three times, then D, E flat. Play that, play that last part where you restart it, if you're going to restart it however you want it. You know? So, with that, your right hand is pretty simple. Same notes. The A flat and the F, A flat and the F. Then you go from the E flat and the B flat. Just this twice on the right hand, then you switch to here, but you're still on B flat on the left hand. For the third time, keep your right hand still, and then go back home. And then you you got the whole thing at that point. So um, let's go from that part, all right? And then we're gonna try to do that part.